Yes, yeah. good morning, my fellow students. I'm happy to see you once again in our third lecture on this very particular course, which is our first semester course, part 112, Mathematics for Public Administration 1. Uh, if you could recall, in our first and second study sessions, we we'll dealt extensively with the issues of a number systems and inequalities. Today, we are going to look at another uh, topic in this our thought study sessions. We shall be considering exponents and roots. You know, mathematics is encompassing so many parts. But if you put your heart and mind to it, it will be quite interesting, educative, and enlightening. Like I said in our first study, the, the essence of this course is to enable students, public administration students, to take, make a critical thinking and make a right decision use mathematical tools. And on this note, we shall be looking at the concept of exponents and roots. We are also going to consider solving exponent problems using the base 10 system. We are also going to study the simplify and approximate roots with ease. By way of introductions, exponents and roots are one of the most important topics in mathematics, and they are used in virtually all aspects of mathematics. This study session will focus on the introductory part of exponents and roots, making sure learners have basic understanding in which they will build on to apply the concepts to public administrations uh, matter. Uh, an exponent is a mathematical notation that implies the numbers of times a number is to be multiplied by itself. For example, in the expression x to the power of 9, the exponent is 9 and x is the base. 2. In 3 to the power of 4, 4 is the exponent. It indicates that 3 is to be multiplied by itself 4 times. <laughs> so, um, that is to say, 3 to the power of 4 is supposed to 3 times 4 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 into 4 times, which is equal to 81. The root of a number, say x, is an unknown number, which when multiplied by itself a given number of times, equal to x. For example, the second, which is the square root of 9, is 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. Is that, so if you look at this, if you put 3 to the power of 2, that means 3 times 3 is 9. And if I put 3 to the power of 4, it will be 3 times 3 times 4. So if I put 3 to the power of 9, it will be 3 times 3 times 3, up to 9 times. So the second root is usually called the square root, while the third root is usually called the cube root. Are we together? As we earlier indicated, an exponent involves the numbers of items in which a number is multiplied by itself. For example, 7 to the power of 2. Here, 7 is the base, 2 is the square, that indicates 7 multiplied by itself in two, uh, two times. Based on our definition of exponent, when we multiply 7 by itself, that is 7 times 7, we get 49. Similarly, the square root of 49 is 7. <laughs> So let us try with another number. 
Take 5 for instance. Let us find the cube root of nine, uh, uh, 5, meaning that 5 to the power of 3, that is the cube root. Here, what we simply mean is that 5 times 5 times 5, which will give us 125. Converting the cube root of 125 is 5. List of the powers of base 2 system. So when we say 2 to the power of 0 is equals to 1, 2 to the power of 1 is equals to 2, 2 to the power of 2 is equals to 4, 2 to the power of 3 is equals to 8, 2 to the power of 4 is equals to 16, 2 to the power of 5 is equals to 16, and so on and so forth. So when you take 2 to the power of 2, you say 2 times 2. 2 to the power of 3 will be 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 2 to the power of 4 is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. 2 to the power of 5 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which equals 32. So, exponent with base 5 system. If done with that, we say, okay, 5 to the power of 0 equals to 1, 5 to the power of 1 equals to 5, 5 to 2 equals to 5 times 5 equals to 25, 5 to the power of 3 is 5 times 5 times 5, just like we did with base 2 is the same applied to base 5. So if you take the last one, 5 to the power of 5, means that 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 equals to 3,125. Forms of exponents. We have number 1 is square. Square of a number is that number multiplied by itself. For we say 4 square denoted 4 to the power of 2 which is equals to 4 times 4, or 16.3 square is, or 16. 3 square is 3 to the power of 2 is equals to 3 times 2, equals to 9. You can continue to square it. So you can also say 5 square, meaning 5 times 5. <laughs> you understand? Which is, uh, will also give you 25, and also, and so forth. Cubes. With that, the first one is a square with which we have dealt with. The second is a cube. When we are talking about the cube of a number, we simply mean the number will multiply itself three times. So we can represent the cube of a number of, let's say, of three as three to the power of three, meaning that three times three times three, which will give a result of 27. So, exponent of special numbers. Let's look at it. Exponent of, for real and special number, we have exponent of negative numbers. As we have seen, an exponent of a number involves multiplying that same number by itself. In the case of a negative number, the same procedure is followed. That is, we will multiply the negative number by, by itself to arrive at the final figure. So, let's say minus 10 to the power of 3. We give you minus 10 times minus 10 times minus 10. We give you equals to minus 1000. <laughs> Are you following? Thank you. So we have minus 7. Minus 7. Minus 7 to the power of 3 is equal to minus 7 times minus 7 times minus 7, which is equal to minus 343. So the same thing applies when we say minus 9 to the power of 3 is equal to minus 9 times minus 9, 9 times. In other words, these are all exponents of negative numbers. So the answer will be minus 729. If you pick that of a minus 15 to the power of 2, we give you minus 15 times minus 15, which is equal to minus. 225, 225. So remember, minus x is equals minus x. Minus is equals to plus. And minus x, minus x, minus is equals to minus. Also, minus x, minus x, minus x, minus is equals to plus. It is. So, example one. Let's say minus 7 to the power of 6. How do you get that one? Take the power of the positive uh, opposite. Let's say we take the power of positive, uh, positive opposite by saying 7 to the power of 6 only without the minus to it. 
you will have seven times seven times seven times seven times seven up to six places that will give you 117,649. The exponent of six is even. So minus seven to the power of six is equal to 117,649. Exponent of special number continue. So let's look at exponent of decimal numbers. The exponent of decimal numbers will involve multiplying the decimal number by itself based on the power. When we square 0 0.18, we must remember that we are multiplying 0 0.18 by 0 0.18. So when we say 0 0.18 times 0 0.18, which is equal to 0 0.0324. Similarly, following the procedure indicated earlier, 0 0.700 0 0.76 to the power of 5 is equal to 0 0.76 times 0 0.76 times 0 0.76 times 0 0.76 times 0.76 up to 5 places, which is equal to 0 0.2536. So let's look at the example one here. Let's say 4.993. Let's say 4.9 to the power of 3. Sorry. 4.9 to the power of 3. So here, there is one decimal place. And the exponent is 3. Thus, 1 times 3 is equal to 3. So, we can now say, oh, 49 to the power of 3 will give you 117, if you remember, 649. Now, inside the decimal point, 3 places to the digits to the right. So you have 4.93 is equal to 117.649. So let's take the example 2. 0 0.52 to the power of 4. There are two decimal places and the exponent is 4. So you can have 2 times 4 which is 8. So we are going to have 52 to the power of 4 which is equal to uh, 7 million 300 and 11 and 616. Now insert the decimal point 8 places to the left to arrive at the final answer. You have 0 0.52 to the power of 4 which is equal to 0 0.073111616. So let's look at that uh, negative exponents. The negative exponent. The negative exponent is a little different from positive exponent. The only difference is the sign. When we take a negative exponent, it does not necessarily mean that we are going to have a negative answer. And in fact, we are likely to have either a positive or a negative answer. For example, when you have 4 to the power of negative 2, it's going to be equal to 1 over 4 to the power of 2, which is equal to 1 over 16. And the answer will be equal to 0 0.0625. Similarly, 5 to the power of negative 3 will also give us a 1 over 5 to the power of 3, which is equal to 1 over 125. And the final answer will be 0 0.008. I hope you are following me. So, a list of negative powers of uh, 10 is presented below. So, look at this thing. So, we will have 10 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1 over 101, which is equal to 1 over 10 is equal to 0 0.1. If you pick that of 2, 10 to the power of negative 2, you will have 1 over 102 equals to 1 over 100 equals to 1.001. The same thing to 10 to the power of negative 3, we give you 1 over 103, which is equals to 1 over 1000, which is equals to 0 0.001. If you take it to the power of negative 4, you have 1 over 104, which is equals to 1 over 10,000, which is equals to 0 0.0001. And uh, let's take that of a 10 to the power of negative 5, we give us 1 over 105, which is equal to 1 over 100,000, which is 0 0.00001. I hope you are following me. Now, let's look at the roots. 
we are, if we have understood clearly the concept of exponent, let's look at the concept of roots. Well, here we talk about the square and cube roots. So the root of a number, let's say A, is an unknown number, which when multiplied by itself, a given number of times, gives A. So for example, the square root of a number is the number that when squared, that is multiplied by itself, is equal to the given number. You follow? So let's say if it's A is multiplied by itself, it's also equal to A. So the symbol used to donate the square root is the square root. You see the quotations? So for example, the square root of 25 is donated by 25 over 1 to the power of 1 over 2. That is the square root of 25, which gives a result of 5. When we find the square root of 5, that is 5 to the power of 2, it simply means 5 times 5, which gives an answer of 25. So the square root of a 1, 2, 1, or 121, donated by the square root of 1, 2, 1 is 11, because 11 times 2 is equal to 121. So the square root of 25 over 4 is equal to 5 over 2, because 5 over 2 squared to the power of 2 is equal to 25 over 4. That, that is, the square root of 81 is equal to 9, because 9 times 2 is also called, is equal to 81. Let's take the cube root. A cube root is a number that when q is equal to the given number, it is with an exponent of 1 over 3. For example, the cube root of 35 is 35 to the power of 1 over 3, which will give you which will be equal to 3.27. So cube root of 90 over 25 is 90 over 25 to the power of 1 over 3. That will be equal to 90 to the power of 1 over 3 strong 25 to the power of 1 over 3 is equal to 4.48 all over 2.92 which is equal to 1.534. So let's Look at simplifying and approximating roots. Simplifying roots. To simplify the square root of a fraction, simplify the numerator and simplify the denominator. Let us provide solution to some examples to facilitate quick understandings of this uh, concept we are talking about. Example one. Let's say simplify 8 to the power of 1 over 2. All you do is that, okay, 8 to the power of 8, the square root of 8 is equal to the square root of 2 times 2 times 2. You get it? So, when we say the square root of 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 2 times the square root of 2. Now, let us square both 2 and the square root to arrive at our final answer. So, when we say equal to 2 to the power of 2 times the square root of 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4 times 2, which is equal to 8. Note, the square root of 2 simply eliminates the square root sign. You get it? When you square the root of 2, it automatically deletes the, the, the sign of the square root. And that is why we are having uh, 8. So, let's consider uh, uh, example 2. Simplify the square root of 1 over 8. So when we say the square root of 1 over 8, it's called the square root of 3 times 3 times 3 times 4. Now, when you say the square root of 3 times 3 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 4, you have 3 times the square root of 3 times 2. So the squaring all figures in order to eliminate the square root sign. Have this at the back of the mind. So therefore, we can also say 3 to the power of 2 times the square root of 2 times this 2 times the power of 2 is equal to 9 times 3 times 4. Note, the square root sign has been eliminated. So we can now have 3. So there we can have the total answer to be 108. 
So, similarly, they, to, to simplify a cube root, factor the number inside the square root. Well, that is 3 to the square root side. If a factor appears three times, cross out all three and write the factor one time, the factor one time outside the cube root side. Example, find the cube root of 8. So we have 3 to the square root of 8. Here now we say, okay, 3 to the square root of 2 times 2 times 2. Since 2 appearing three times, we cross it out and write 2 as our answer. So the cube root of 8 is 2. So remember the example that you should just factor one time outside the cube root sign. So example, let's take another example 5. Find the cube root of 216. You have the cube to the square root of 216. And then you have 3 to say, okay, the square root of 6 times 6 times 6. When you cross out, thus it gives us an answer of 6. How? Hope you are understood. Thank you. And I pray that you will be able to apply this knowledge to uh, a, a public administration, a work, and decision making. Thank you, and see you in our next class. Have a beautiful day.